So Jason, yes, point source. It is now. I'm I'm a bit of a. I lean towards point source, as they say. Mm. Um, but this is an interesting hybrid sort of of point source and line. Uh, if I can explain. Uh, okay, you need to throw sound a long way, which is the whole point of the HK Audio uh, Linear 5 LTSA, which is the top box here. Um, so let's say you know you're, you're trying to do a mid to large size crowd. You've got two options. You can have a really long waveguide, you know, mm. long point source, or you can have a line array. So either way, one big box this way, which gets a bit inefficient and distorted, or lots of boxes, lots of rigging, lots of you know, gear, lots of people, lots of time. Um, what the uh, LTSA seeks to do is sort of go between both. Yep. So what this really interesting device here is the multi-cell transformer. It's the a vertical MCT. multi-cell. Yes, it is a vertical multi-cell mm. that takes the output of the one inch high frequency driver and divides it into nine separate wave fronts. There's mm. actually nine channels. Uh, best if you actually have a look at the diagram, it's quite mind bending. Mm. And what that effectively does is turn that point source into a line source because there's different delay times because the different travel paths through it, which again ends up going a long way. So you've got 60 wide and then plus, 20, plus 5 minus 25 vertical. So it's basically an asymmetric multicellular yeah, horn. Yeah. And what HK are trying to go for here is really long throw, 30 to 50 meters, 138 dB SPL. And that's what I find interesting about this box. You don't really appreciate it until you're hearing a lot of volume. Well, that's right. Here mm. in our studio, um, it wasn't really doing very mm. much. It was just idling away, but we've yeah, heard it. We have. In almost free space. Yeah, um, we've heard it in several several large rooms mm. and turned up with just one box and one of the uh, 4,000 subs. And yeah, that's when it really, really comes to yeah, life. It, so It does the business. It does, it does. Mm. And um, this is just designed to be really easily tourable. Mm. You can have a single top box and sub or multiple subs and you can start arraying the top boxes together. One on top of each other when you've got to shoot a long way up there and a long way that way, two next to each other with the bracketry or in a cluster of four. And just to make that even easier for you, there's a simple switch on the back where you can set uh, how it's working yeah. in that configuration. So so just again, very easy. Look, another thing I like, and I think you appreciate it too, is the handles. Yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, they're cool. It's really light. It's just mm. just below 25 mm. kilos, mm. and you can just basically pick it up and throw it around. Yeah, and that's powered. Mm. Um, it has three eight-inch drivers, one mm. compression driver yeah, yeah. with this multicellular array. Yeah, and all uh, powered by one 1,000 watt amplifier, yeah. and it punches above its weight. Yeah. Um, the 4000A sub that was designed to go with it, 18-inch, uh, again powered, bandpass, uh, pretty straightforward, nothing quite as tricky as the multi-cell transformer mm. going on in there. Yeah. But yeah, for a mid-level like touring rock act that's got to do about 3,000 people, it's light, it's easy, the bracketry, which is optional, is very, very straightforward. Or, um, or a venue that will take the 60 by 60 yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. And again, there are plenty of rooms like that. Yeah, there are. And mm. again, there's actually other bracketry where you can you know, actually bolt it to the ceiling. Yeah. So um, yeah, made in Germany, I think they've done a really good job. Mm, it's an interesting take on an area that there's not a lot of innovation in. I there think. you go. Mm.